Samsung finally made the long-awaited Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus official yesterday. And from what we have seen thus far, the immense hype that surrounded the two Galaxy phones before they were even unveiled was far from baseless. The Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are unique, to say the least, in that they don't look like anything else out there, not anything mass-produced at least, but they are more than just bold looks. Also, the duo unmistakably carries the DNA of previous Samsung Galaxy phones. Samsung latest offering come with a plethora of new features on board, which set them apart from the current competition. So after this introduction, let's check out all the fresh new features that the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are bringing to the table. In line with the latest emerging trend, Samsung is ditching the current standard 69 screen aspect ratio in favor of a new and taller display that nicely fills up the front of the S8, leaving very little in the way of bezels at the top and the bottom. This means the S8 and S8 Plus are able to retain similar dimension to those of their predecessors, all the while upping screen size. So, as, so the S8 and S8 Plus have a 18.59 Infinity display. Both the 5.8 inch S8 and 6.2 inch S8 Plus feature AMOLED infinite displays with a native WQHD Plus resolution of 1440 by 2960 pixels. Both phones support an impressive 83% screen to body ratio and their display managed to pack 500k more pixels than those of the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. With the success of, of Amazon's Echo lineup, it seems like everyone is trying to implement a virtual assistant somewhere, be it in a smart home appliance, a speaker, or your next smartphone. In keeping with the times, Samsung too is developing its very own artificial intelligence assistant. Mehmet Bixby, the artificial intelligence will play a main role in the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, as well as in the future Samsung products and smartphones and even as it has its own dedicated physical button on the new Galaxy phones. The new Infinity displays found on the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are so tall that there is no room left for the physical button in the bottom bezel. This has forced Samsung to look for an alternative solution which comes in the form of, on, of an on-screen navigation bar while the fingerprint scanner has moved to the back of the S8 next to the camera. The on-screen navigation is fairly standard, consisting of three buttons, but there is a, net, a neat new addition to it that is pretty much invisible at first glance. In order to compensate for the lack of a physical home button as far as physicality goes, at least Samsung has tossed something of an iPhone 7 steel haptic feedback engine into the mix that tasked with delivering a clicky response when the on-screen home button is pressed. The design changes in the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus extend to the user interface as well. Samsung has given its user interface a fresh coat of paint with a lot of redesigned icons in tow, as well as some, albeit minor, minor interface tweaks to set them apart from previous offerings by the company. There is a lot of new icons in store, all of them unified with by a decidedly more minimalistic line drawing style aesthetic. Further than that, obviously taking a page from Google's Pixel Book, Samsung has done away with the app drawer button in the dock why the drawer is conveniently accessible by swamping up pixel style.
making his way from last year Galaxy Note 7, there is an iris scanner glassing the fronts of both the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Both phones also support facial recognition for faster unlocks, also the latter comes at the expense of security. The Galaxy S8 bum up the resolution of the selfie shooter to 8 megapixels and also toots face detection autofocus that is capable of quickly focusing on faces, as the name implies, without manual input. The Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus will both come with a pair of AKJ branded earphones in the box. We can't say anything definitive about sound quality yet, also the time for that will come soon in us, but we are not to see AKJ logo gracing the earbuds, as Samsung recently acquired Arma International, the company that owns the AKJ brand. The Galaxy S8 will be available in five colors. The US is getting black, orchid gray, and silver, while blue and maple gold will be available internationally. Do you think Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus will be the biggest success of Samsung Galaxy S series history? Tell us in comments. To discover more Android-related content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S Sorel channel.